Hey, welcome back to our new video. In this video series, we are talking about the Rasmus Mondas and how to uh, apply for it. And in this particular video, we are uh, uh, discussing about the document preparation. And then today, uh, we are talking about uh, proof of residency or residential registration form. So this form, uh, you can get it on two ways. One is your uh, government uh, office, like uh, your um, rural municipality or municipality office. Okay, those office or another is your uh, college, university or your uh, office of work. You can request on both. But what it should include is that it should include your permanent address. And your date of birth. So it should include your permanent address and your date of birth that uh, it is yes verified that he lives here and his date of birth is this. So this document is required for uh, to, to, to uh, state that your uh, permanent address and your uh, date of birth. For me, uh, I have uh, like I have uh, uh, the, the college, uh, it is easier to get it from the college than uh, from the uh, uh, government office because government office provides uh, you in the in a Nepali language which you ultimately have to translate it either in English or uh, other language or mostly in the uh, English language. So it's better to get it from the either college or from the uh, university. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or from the uh, office uh, where uh, you can uh, request them to provide uh, you this so that uh, you have it yeah okay so what it is uh, how it looks for me is like uh, this says that my permanent address is this and then i was a bona fide uh, student and uh, other colleges may also provide you have to ask for a bona fide uh, certificate then they will give you yeah and then here they have mentioned my uh, date of birth, my uh, date of birth in permanent address. So it works as a residential registration form. But if you have to ask uh, from your uh, government offices or from other other places, then you may need to provide them a template, which uh, you can uh, like uh, write it yourself or generate from some other sources or you can uh, make yourself one by seeing this uh, my, my example so this is all about a residential registration form which should mention your permanent address and your date of birth that's it okay uh, thank you so much for uh, this video uh, next video i'll talk about uh, your uh, uh, other documents and all the processes required for the Rasmus Mondes program. So stay tuned and uh, do like, share and subscribe.